we want. Barrett on first down, has his man over the middle. For a to a lot of people, this was just Kent State's first touchdown of the season. But for junior Antoine Duke Dixon, it was his first football game for almost three years. Duke started at wide receiver coming right out of high school, leading the team in receiving yards. From the 25, Reardon on a little misdirection play. They flip it to Dixon, far side. He turns the corner, 25-30, 35-40, far side. Midfield, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. He's at the 15, 10, 5. He scores. He was set to have an amazing career. That was until before the last game of his freshman season. Dixon started to feel sick, forcing him to go home back to Florida. I actually had a, I had to drive home by myself, 19 hours. So once I got home, my my anchors were swollen. I was tired, and I just went home and went to sleep. Dixon was diagnosed with aplastic anemia, taking him away from football. Um, aplastic anemia is a, a blood disorder. Uh, it just means that my blood, blood, blood cells don't produce on their own. So uh, my white blood cells, my red blood cells, my platelets, um, I would have to get transfusions here and there to keep my blood counts up so I wouldn't run out of blood cells and probably pass away. But Through everything, Dixon knew he would be back on the field. His best friend and teammate, Will Matthews, had no doubt he'd be playing with him again. When we talked, he always, I'd be like, you know, how you doing? How's everything going? He's like, I'm good, bro, you know, everything's going good. I'm gonna be all right, I'm gonna be back out there with y'all. How you doing? You know, like, he didn't, he never wanted to make it about himself, which was crazy. Me and my mom were uh, sitting in the hospital room and, uh, I think I was having an allergic reaction to uh, one of the medicines that, we, that they were giving me. And I just told her, like, I'm not going to give up because I want to play football again. And there's a lot of people that look up to me. After he went through chemo and everything, seeing him how it was, it was like, man, that, that's just not something you want to see your friend go through. But even, even through that, with his bald head, he was sending me pictures, you know, like, I don't have no hair, I got the bald head now, like stuff like that. But it was always positive and funny. And, and at that point, I was like, I know he's going to do whatever he has to do to get back. After going through chemo and a bone marrow transplant, Duke felt healthy enough to head back to Kent State and get his spot back on the team. At first, I was nervous um, that they wouldn't, you know, accept me, you know with my blood disorder and trusting, trusting me. He did a really good job of doing everything that he could do. And then, and then if there were things that he couldn't do, he would do the modified version of it. So uh, he attacked it full speed. Dixon regained his starting spot on the team through his hard work, starting right where he left off. Now he's back making plays like he, like nothing ever happened. Kent State opened their 2018 season at the University of Illinois. I was nervous. Uh, I actually uh, dropped my first pass, but that got me into the game, and uh, it felt like I was back doing the things that, that I'm used to doing. He said he's going to score. He's going to score this game. Like he told me, like I will score this game. The Golden Flashes found themselves driving down the field in scoring position and called a play that opened up Antoine with nothing but grass in front of him. Barrett on first down has his man over the middle. For a Kent State touchdown, it's Antoine Dixon. Welcome back. When I caught it, I just, I, they told me not to look back because I always look back in practice too when, I, when I'm running. But, I mean, it's just a good feeling to be in front of people and look back at them. But I was so excited for him, I felt like I was the one who scored. Um, I skipped into the end zone. And it was just a, it was a good moment to be out there and then celebrate with my guys going back to the sideline. Kent State would go on to lose a close game. But Duke's first touchdown back will be remembered for a long time by him, his friends, and many others. It was definitely inspiring because it's like he went through something that I will probably never go through. And I, and, and I pray most people don't have to go through. I know not a lot of people have a good support system, but my support system helped me a lot through it. And, um, and if you ever need any help or anything with, with anything, contact me. You can find me on Facebook, find me on Instagram, anything, and I'll give you a talk. Whenever I'm 
waking up because we all have those days like, oh, I don't want to go to practice. I don't feel like getting up. I'm tired. You know, it's just thinking about when Duke was laying in the hospital bed, he would have did anything to wake up and be tired and go practice, you know? So, so just knowing that just gives me motivation to push myself with all the other things that motivate me. As a man, you never take it. You guys understand me on that. Fight, get a release, know where they're at, attack. Never give up. Um, everything happens for a reason. Um, no battle is too tough. Um, and just keep pushing.